Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas. Today has been kind of a weird day. It's really gloomy and rainy outside and like kind of abnormally warm again. So overall my day's just kind of been thrown off. And my mom took James for the first time today, like for the full day. Uh, we've had people watch him for like little date nights and stuff or just a few hours here and there, but never a full day. So it's been weird not having every minute of my day taken up by work or something with him or doing vlogmas stuff so it's been kind of nice just to be relaxed a little bit not really because work was still super busy but i have stripped his whole crib um that desperately needed done we have the newton baby mattress so all the covers come off and the inside like actual mattress part is even washable so that was really cool but i am going to catch up on the rest of his laundry and finish washing off his bedding and i think when he gets home tonight i'm going to do some salt dough ornaments i don't know how late he's going to be so if he doesn't get home till later i might just end up wrapping some presents and just chat with you guys make this kind of a casual little vlog so yeah i'm gonna go and do some reorganizing in his room and see whatever else i need to wash so i'll just bring you guys along with me doing all of that today so i'm gonna sit and fold some laundry so i'm trying to stay caught up laundry is my hardest chore to keep up on now that i have a baby and people like have suggested doing it all on one day and that's just really stressful to me so i try to at least put in like one load a day and fold it we've kind of got out of that cycle so trying to get back into it and then jamie i usually have to do like one load a day or like one load every other day um less now because he's not spitting up as much as he used to thank goodness because i used to have to wash his bed sheets like every other day i had to change his outfit like three or four times a day so now it's a lot better he's not spitting up as much so he only switches maybe one outfit a day or like out of a sleeper into his outfit and then if he spits up or something else happens <laughs> all the other bodily fluids that babies do um it's usually one or two outfits which is so so much better than it used to be <laughs> Because every time, almost every time he would drink a bottle, he would spit up and then it would be all over him and I would have to change him. So, yeah. But I'm going to sit here and fold some laundry. Yes, I'm sitting in his room because he's still not home yet. My mom's going to watch him a little bit longer. And since his whole crib is still torn apart, he's going to take his last nap of the day there. And then she's going to bring him home. So, yeah. I've definitely missed him today. It's been super weird. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and shower because I just want to get like comfy and cozy and settled in for the night James is finally home. Kyle's putting him down for bed right now. He did really good at my mom's today um, Still a little bit shy, but she's gonna be starting to watch him during the week So that'll be good give me and Kyle some time to get some work done and him some time to get used to other people so I'm excited for that, but I asked some questions on my Instagram or asked you guys to ask me some questions. So I'm going to do like a little Q&A while I'm wrapping presents and kind of finish off the night with that. Well, I only have a few presents to wrap tonight, like three. So literally only a few because I am a last minute Christmas shopper. Um, I have a big order on Amazon that I'm ordering tonight. Um, I just have a few more things to put on there, but I pretty much bought for everybody off of Amazon. Um, Kyle and I talked about maybe going shopping tomorrow, so I might look for a few things while we're out, but for the most part, I think I have everybody and all of it's gonna be here by Christmas, so we're good there. But I have like three to fold, three to fold, oh my gosh, three to wrap tonight. Um, one is for Kyle's dad, and then the other two are for my niece and my nephew. I ordered some more things for them off of Amazon, so ooh, those will be here hopefully next week. I think everything's set to arrive by next week, at least by Monday or Tuesday. I put a little question box on Instagram and ask you guys to ask me anything. Most of them are Christmas related. Actually, I think all of them are Christmas related. But since I film on my phone, I had to write them all down. So while I wrap presents tonight, I'm gonna answer a few of those. 
Also, I desperately need new wrapping paper because the only two rolls I have are these two, which I mean they're cute, but I need to make like a Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods run because they have the cutest wrapping paper every year. It's like my go-to place to go. Um, I think last year I used a lot of it and then this is what I had left. So if we do go shopping tomorrow, that's another thing I'm gonna look for is cute wrapping paper. I think I'm gonna open this new roll so I can kind of alternate. I just want to get some presents under the tree. It's like my favorite thing every year. Is this reversible? No, okay. So, disclaimer, I am terrible at wrapping presents. I don't know if anybody else can relate to that, but I am terrible. I mean, I guess I do okay, but definitely not my strong suit. So when like James and our other kids get older, that's something I'm gonna have to work on watch some YouTube videos, take a class, I don't know, something because I'm not good at it. So I'm going to start with the first question and it is, what are you most excited to do with James as he gets older during the holidays? So like I said earlier, <laughs> this year we're not really doing anything with James because he's so little. Um, I do have a plan to do like salt dough ornaments and paint those. Um, that'll probably be one of my vlogmas videos. But as he gets older, um, I'm really excited just to do more like wintry stuff like what I did when I was a kid and we live in Indiana so we get snow. So I'm super excited to take him sledding. That was one of my favorite memories about like Christmas and around the holidays was getting to go sledding. My parents have like a really big hill in their front yard. So that was something that I always did every winter that I hope he gets to do. I live close to Indianapolis and if you are local every single year, um, it's a day after Thanksgiving, but they have this thing called the Circle of Lights, and they light up the monument on the circle downtown, and that is something that I kind of want to bring back, a tradition that I like to do, because that was one of my favorite, favorite things when I was younger, so that is something that we will probably try to keep going as a tradition, but I'm just excited for all of, like, the basic stuff, too, like baking cookies and, like, Christmas music and Christmas movies, because I love Rudolph, so... That is like a big tradition that was in my house when I was younger was watching Rudolph like every year around Christmas. Kind of a long winded answer, but those are a few things that I'm excited for. So the next question I got was, what is your favorite gift that you received as a child? Um, I don't think I received this gift for Christmas, but one of my favorite gifts that I received was a like handmade toy from my papa. And he always made these little like basketball goals and they're wooden and he would make like a little net and like would draw little lines on it. Um, I'll have to see if I can find it. I think it's at my parents' house, but it's literally just a little piece of wood that's like the court. And then he made like, um, like a hoop and a little backboard all made out of wood. And there's this little block at the end and you stick a spoon in it. And he had like a little like bouncy ball tied to the end, like tethered on there and you put it on the spoon and you flick it to try to get it in the hoop. And every time I went to their house, that was something I played with all the time. So sentimental wise, um, that was probably one of my favorite gifts I've ever received, even though I don't think it was for Christmas. This is my little present. It doesn't look terrible, not too shabby, but still not the greatest. So the next question I received and I got a few of these was, what is a new tradition that you wanna start with your family? So I want to do a lot of the same stuff that I did when I was a kid. Like every year my mom would put on um, like the Dean Martin Christmas album, like Winter Wonderland. That was my favorite thing. Um, but one thing I want to start with James and like our other kids is doing like PJs and a movie and like a snack and open that on Christmas Eve. I always thought that was a really cute idea and something that um, they can look forward to every year, especially when they're little, get new Christmas PJs to wear for the next morning. We can watch like a Christmas movie or just a movie that night and have like a little snack to eat with it. So that is my plan right now. More will probably come along as they get older and as we just kind of like settle in as a family, I feel like you always like find little special things to do. So that is one of my biggest traditions that I want to start with. Um, James hopefully next year. Oh, another question I got asked was what is your favorite like Christmas memory or um, I guess it can kind of go hand in hand or like what is something that was like your favorite thing about Christmas when you were little. 
So my mom, every year, we would bring out the decorations like the day after Thanksgiving or really soon after Thanksgiving, and she would always play the Dean Martin Christmas album. I talked about that earlier, but that is one thing that makes me think about Christmas every year. Um, another thing that was really special to me was every year we would get a real Christmas tree and it was like a big family event. Like my grandpa would come, like me, my mom and dad, all my sisters, like up until I was in high school because until I moved out, my parents got a real tree every year. Um, it was one of my favorite things, like one of my most like special memories from when I was a kid. My grandparents passed away last year, so that is kind of a really special memory I have with my papa because he would always go with us and we would either put like the saw or he would put his hat on like one of the trees that we found that we thought that we liked um, and he would always come with us and like cut it down with us. So that's something that's really special to me and Kyle and I have talked about eventually getting a real tree when like James and our other kids are older and old enough to go out and like remember it and help us cut it down. So that is something that I think is probably my most favorite memory like about Christmas when I was little. Another one that I got was what does your family usually eat for Christmas dinner? So usually for Christmas we like when I went to my grandparents when they used to host it we would always have ham and I loved my grandma's ham. It was so good. Um, she would put like cloves on it, a lot of pineapple. So, so good. So every year, usually now still, that my parents are hosting it and we have a lot of different Christmases to go to, um, we usually always have ham and that's usually the only time I really eat ham is like Christmas or if we have it for Thanksgiving sometimes. Something we started doing with Kyle's side of the family because we always do Christmas Eve um, with his side of the family is like doing little appetizers or little finger foods and like making like little charcuterie boards or something like simple that people can just like grab and go because there's so many of us that people kind of come in and out all day and that's just an easy way for people to like still be able to eat and snack but not feel like committed to bringing something and it's easier on Kyle's grandparents because they don't have to make like a full meal if they don't want to. So I really like that idea too. Um, if we ever hosted like a Christmas party or ever had to host Christmas, I think that's a really good idea. So another question that I got, I can't remember. I don't think I've answered this one because I've kind of skipped around, but this one is what is your favorite Christmas song? So I have a few. My Probably top favorite is Mary Did You Know. I love that song. It always gets stuck in my head every year. <laughs> um, but I guess, I don't know, there's so many. I like all the songs on a Winter Wonderland album by Dean Martin. That is my absolute favorite. I've said that like 50 times in this video already, but honestly, just really nostalgic for me. It just always makes me think of Christmas um, and just like makes me think of when I was little, but I really like um, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. That's actually Kyle's favorite Christmas song, but I do like it because it's just kind of relaxing and cozy. So yeah, that was a really like all over the place answer, but those are kind of all mushed together, my favorite Christmas songs. That was all the questions that I had in my little notebook. Well, thank you guys for watching today's video. I know it was a little all over the place again. Um, it was just a weird day for me not having James all day and now it's thunderstorming in December and it's been really warm. So it just doesn't feel very Christmassy out today, but I'm glad I got some presents wrapped and I got the rest of my Christmas presents ordered and we'll all be here by Christmas. So very happy about that. I'm a last minute person, so I always stress a little bit <laughs> when it comes to buying Christmas presents. I really need to be better about that. I keep telling myself that, but who knows if that will ever be true. But I have some salted caramel cashew ice cream calling my name. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys. <laughs>